Howdy folks, today we are going to make a chicken sandwich. Well, a few chicken sandwiches actually. And here are our basic ingredients. We've got lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, some mushrooms, a bit of jalapeno pepper, cheese, butter, the bread of course, the chicken, salt, pepper, mustard. Uh, we won't be using mayo today, but I know lots of people love mayo, so uh, count that in if that's what you want. And of course all of these uh, ingredients, you know, save for bread and chicken, of course, are pretty much optional. Uh, if you don't like tomatoes, you don't like mushrooms, you don't like jalapeno peppers or onions, whatever, leave it out. If there's something else you like to put on there, uh, put it in. You might want a bit of sweet pepper. It's uh, all done to taste. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, these are our raw ingredients and we'll start to break them down. So the first thing you've done is break down your vegetables, slice your onions and tomatoes and your mushrooms, your jalapeno if you have one, okay? And uh, at this point, we're going to now go ahead and grate the cheese and uh, break down the meat, you know, uh, into little strips and pieces small enough to spread onto a sandwich. So uh, at this time, preheat your oven, you know, turn your oven on to 400 degrees so that it's preheated by the time we put the, the bread and cheese and chicken in. And once you have the chicken broken down and your cheese shredded, we can start making the actual sandwiches. Lightly oil the bottom of a pan or a cookie sheet and put your bread inside there with uh, each piece of bread, a bit of butter on top, and now we're going to add a little bit of cheese. You just want a thin sprinkling of cheese at this point, just to help the chicken bind to the bread, and now we're going to add the chicken and a bit more cheese, and when maybe a lot more cheese. So now we have that initial layer of cheese, our layer of chicken, and another generous layer of cheese. Now at this point, you can just put it in the oven, which you should now have preheated to 400 degrees, and let everything melt and toast up a bit. But if you're putting on, uh, you know, mushrooms, onions, jalapeno, and you would like those also heated up, uh, go ahead and add those ingredients now as well. Uh, you won't necessarily want to add tomatoes, you might. Those go great in the oven. You certainly don't want to add your lettuce at this point because it'll just wilt. Okay, so note that this is actually four sandwiches that we're making here. Um, the four slices on the right are for two, the four slices on the left are for the other two. So we only need vegetables on one half of the sandwich, right? The, the other part's just going to go on top, lettuce in between, and off you go. So now we want to place this pan into the oven until the cheese melts and the bread, hopefully, is a nice toasty brown on the bottom. And here we have, after about 23 minutes in the oven, the cheese is bubbling away on the sandwiches and starting to brown nicely on the top. And we're ready to put together the full sandwich. Just uh, be careful, things are hot at this point. Uh, you might want to let it cool down a little bit before you add the lettuce and tomato. Now here's where they start to look sexy. We have our tomato and lettuce on, we've put on our salt and pepper, a little bit of mustard or mayo if that's what you're desiring, and we're ready to close them up and serve them out. There's the money shot, folks, for beautiful, thick chicken sandwiches made to your liking. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. I hope to put up more food videos shortly. Now, isn't that one delicious looking chicken sandwich? Let's take a bite, folks. It's time to eat.